Hey guys, before the video starts, I wanted to let you know that I will be on holiday next week. Kev has got a week off work and we're not going anywhere specific, but we are going to go on a few family adventures with the cute guy you see in the on the screen just now. Um, I completely forgot to mention it in the video, um, so there won't be any videos up next week, but I'll be back um, the following week, so I'll see you soon. Hey you guys, it's Karen, and today I have got a Hada Lobo haul, a small haul, it's only three items, and I've got another one that I have ordered and not yet tried, um, but I wanted to talk you through them and my thoughts, because they are now available on Amazon UK. Um, I think they were available before to us, but the ingredients etc were in Japanese and so that isn't something I wanted to order because I couldn't find the ingredients. A lot of people have been recommending these to me for a long time but I just couldn't see what the ingredients were. First product is the Gentle Hydrating Cleanser All-in-One Super Hyaluronic Acid and I have used this a few times. Um, I use this in the bath or shower to remove my makeup. I've tried using it to remove my eye makeup as well and it does unfortunately sting my eyes a little bit so that is a no-no for me. Um, you can see that it's really creamy and it does kind of foam a little bit when you add water to it um, but not an awful lot you know it's just very very creamy. it's creamy, it's very lightweight, it is non-drying so it's one of the very few cleansers I've used whereby after when I get out of the bath or shower, I don't immediately go and do the rest of my cleansing routine, mostly because I have a bath or shower kind of late afternoon, early evening, and then I don't do my cleansing routine until um, later on, kind of nearer bedtime. But it's one of the few cleansers I've used where my skin doesn't feel tight and I'm not like, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have to sit and do my, the rest of my routine because my skin is feeling really tight it doesn't it leaves it feeling really really smooth but it doesn't feel like there's any product left on it so I really like this but it wouldn't be a repurchase for me simply because if I can't take my eye makeup off with it then I need a separate one and that just kind of defeats the purpose for me but I do really like this and something to note is that I do have very very sensitive eyes so you might well be fine with this, so it'd be interested to hear from others that have used this. Just, do you find it stings your eyes as well? I don't think I told you the price of that, £11.95. The next item that I have is this. This is the Lotion Number no. 1 Super Hydrator. There are some products that are in white tubes like these, and some that are part of the red line, which um, I've ordered this one that's in the red packaging, um, and I've also got this night cream that I'm going to show you that's from the red packaging as well. The white packaging is supposed to be more um, to maintain your skin health in your 20s and early 30s. The red line is more of an anti-aging line um, but there is an anti-aging day cream which I wouldn't be interested in because the only day cream I use has to have an SPF in it. I don't use a separate day cream and then an SPF and there's an eye and mouth cream and I generally don't use eye and mouth I certainly don't use mouth creams um, but I generally don't use eye creams and I've got quite a few to use up just now. Um, so the second product I bought was this and it is the lotion number no. one super hydrator. I didn't buy the red one immediately because the red one has retinol in it and you guys may or may not know that my skin has been really irritated by retinol in the past and I have tried a gazillion different types from Drunk Elephant, Paula's Choice, you know all of the kind of popular ones but I've kind of relented and thought, let me try it, as in, as it's mixed in with lots of other things, it's not a direct retinol, um, let me try it. So I've ordered that one, um, and I'll talk about that one at the end. This one I have tried, and I really like the packaging on this, by the way. There's 150 mil in here, which is really good. This, I didn't tell you the price, this is 15.95 for this 150 mil tube. So that's what it comes out like. It's very watery, as you can see, it kind of drips off. Um, and it feels nice and silky going on. There's nothing, I've nothing bad to say about this. It's not something that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use this, but it's not something I dislike using. Um, it feels lovely on the skin. It does feel like it's given me some hydration, this one actually. I've used it probably three or four times and I have felt like mm, my skin does feel quite nice and plump, um, even if I haven't used the, the night cream after it. And that's unusual for me because I have been one of those that was about to give up on hyaluronic acid because I've just tried, again, I've tried so many products with it in. I never find that it increases the hydration to my skin. Um, but yeah, I have, like I said, I don't love using it. It's not really luxurious or anything. It's just, just have found with this one that my skin does feel a bit more sort of plump and less 
dry or tight when I use this. Um, like I said, even without the other product that I'm going to talk about. So, so far so good with this. I'll be really interested to see what the um, red one is like. Their kind of ethos, by the way, is hyaluronic acid in all their products and they use this super hyaluronic acid, which is um, a mix of different kinds of um, hyaluronic acid. Okay, the last item that I actually bought was this, the Repair Night Cream. This was £19.95. This has four different types of hyaluronic acid in it and it's a night cream. Obviously, you know, I don't love the fact that it's in a jar. How much do you get in here actually? 50 ml, so this isn't quite as um, value for money because it's a bit more expensive and you get a third of the product, but this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to put this into a pump jar so that I don't constantly have to use cotton buds um, but that's what it looks like it's a kind of gel cream um, and it is beautiful I absolutely adore this using this on top of the hyaluronic acid feels amazing but even using the night cream on its own when I get new products I like to test them out just using those if possible to see what they're like so for the hyaluronic acid I've used this on its own and then put a moisturizer that I know the effect of on top of it um, and then I put nothing else underneath using this you know no actives or anything and just tried this it feels beautiful um, neither of these are pilled by the way I forgot to say that about that there's no balling up on the skin that's a big bugbear of mine but it doesn't do that I just noticed my skin feels really really beautiful after using this and it feels kind of plumped up the following morning you know um, so I can see why everybody is recommending this brand. See what all the hype is about. So far I like two, I like all of them, but I just, I wouldn't repurchase this simply because of the eye stinging. But the other two I'm really enjoying so far. So I will continue to use these because obviously this is just a first impressions um, video. I'll continue to use both of these and then talk about these in an empty. When the red one um, arrives, I will use it once um, the hyaluronic acid I will use it once and then I'll wait for probably three days and see if my skin reacts and then if it doesn't use it again and then increase to every other day instead of every three days like that and see how my skin reacts to the retinol and then I'll come and talk to you about that um, I'm not sure in what if it does if my skin does react you'll see it in my empties um, and that's the next time we'll talk about these as well unless I do a specific Hado Labo Hado Labo empties video for you we'll see how I get on um, that's everything for today. I hope that that was useful if you've been considering buying these. Certainly the hyaluronic acid is fantastic value for money because it's £20 for that 150ml. The night cream is just lovely. I love that feeling of a cream gel but often cream gels have felt made my skin feel quite tight. That doesn't at all. It just feels lovely so I can see what all the hype is about. So I hope this was interesting. Let me know your thoughts on the products I know that some of you have already told me some of the products you use there was a 3d lifting mask I just looked it up it's a shape memory gel mask that you don't wash off so it's basically a night cream let me know if anybody's used that I think one person did say they've used it and loved it and I imagine it will be something similar to this so I think and it's 20 pounds as well so I think when this one runs out I will try that one um, that's everything thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon